And we're going to give you an update on Neki. No longer a hurricane, now a tropical storm. I'll tell you how it will affect our island weekend weather. That's coming up later in the newscast. Well, some good news to talk about. Yesterday, we were talking about Hurricane Nikki. Now it has been downgraded to a tropical storm. In fact, the winds are now down to about 65 miles per hour sustained. And there it is there. You can see how wide it sort of spread out it is. That is a sure sign that it is go undergoing some upper level wind shear. And the wind shear pulls these systems apart and will help, and help it to weaken. And that's what's going to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours. There it is there as it moves up to the north. I'll lay out the forecast for you and you can see how it will be a tropical storm and then eventually become an area of low pressure in our neighborhood. So yes, it is moving off to the west of us. It's about 400 miles west of the island of Kauai. The good news is, you know, this system actually came quite close to us considering, you know, it could have wobbled and moved in our neighborhood. So we were very, very lucky. The hurricane season is not over yet. You can see the influence here on satellite imagery. High level clouds moving in over the western end of the island chain, the island of Akoi. Pretty cloudy today as a result of these high level clouds. The rest of the island chain pretty clear. Showers, not a whole lot because, you know, high level clouds are above 20,000 feet. At that level, all that moisture is ice. So it really doesn't bring us moisture at all. We have seen a few isolated showers and really that's about it. Most of the moisture, look at this, coming in over the island of Oahu. They this is a cloud plume probably coming off of the island of Molokai that has bringing us some showers in the afternoon hours. And really, that's about it. I'm going to go in a little closer and show you what's been happening. The rainfall totals have not added up to a whole lot. Any rainfall, though, at this time of year is good news. Tonight, we're going to say cloudy for Kauai because of that storm, <laughs> the high cirrus clouds. And it will be clear over the rest of the island chain. The wind tonight coming in at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. But tomorrow, we're going to say light and variable and you know that's going to be the trend for the rest of the week probably for the rest of the forecast period i should say for a five-day period we're going to see light and variable winds coming in at about 10 to 15 miles an hour so it's going to be a little hazy out there a little warm a little muggy a small craft advisory in effect the north side coming in at five to eight foot faces and here as we look ahead here, here's what's happening we're looking at humid conditions all the way through the weekend and into the new work week trade winds will probably not build back in until the middle of next week and that's because of the storm and also a cold front that's sitting up to the north so it looks like christine it's going to be a muggy one that's for sure i uh, can't wait for those trades to return thanks a lot sherry well backup players are getting their big break for the warrior football team jason tang's got all the details next in sports as i mentioned earlier in this newscast today is the last day for many of us here mm -hmm. including the three of us I just want to say it's been an honor working alongside Mr. Canada here. Uh, and of course, Ms. Sweetness girl. here. Thank you so much. And of course, everyone in the newsroom at KTN on K5 News. I'd also like to thank the viewers. You've been tremendously supportive through this transition with the cards, mm -hmm. the emails, the phone, ca phone calls. I mean, nothing but the best viewers we have. And um, before we go, before I cry, I'm not yes. going to get Sherry. No, no, no. <laughs> Jason doesn't make me cry, but... <laughs> We leave you with a final look at the KHNL and K5 newsroom and the great people yes. who have made it what it is today. Right? Sure. Yes. So thank you to everybody here. And mahalo for watching KHNL News 8 at 6. Take care and we'll see you around. See you later. Once listed as a deserter, and excuse me folks, I'm sorry, I don't believe I have a, a microphone on here. And I know you will deal. I hope at home you can deal with this here because this is truly a, a very interesting story here tonight. Here's what's up in sports for this Thursday, March 14th, 1996. Robert's kind of kind of sensitive about the new haircut, so when you see him later today, don't don't mention it, okay? Duncan Armstrong, the ride of his life. We'll see you then. You go, Duncan. Did you notice the reaction there from the volleyball team? They went nuts.
and it's not easy for many men to talk about, but we'll tackle the subject of erectile dysfunction disease coming up next. Thank you for bringing them in this morning, and we'll get them under control. And uh, if you have questions, you can write to John Kaya here at KHNL.com. I'm Patricia Lee, filling in for Lee Cataluna. This is NBC Hawaii Today for Monday, June 7th. I'm Guy Hagi. Another gorgeous day ahead. Details coming up with traffic and weather together on the 8th. Basically an ongoing feud between two brothers turned into a tragic fall yesterday morning when a brick wall suddenly gave way. According to neighbors, fights between the Jojo brothers were common. However, their last fight ended here next to the balcony in a lower punch bowl apart. But it guesstimates that there's about 20,000 more. As <laughs> Good morning, both Guy Hagi and Patty Lee are on vacation today, and uh, Diana Coe is feeling a little bit under the weather, so Lyle Galdera will be joining us in the next half hour or so, and good morning and thanks for joining us. And looks like this morning the nation will get its first look at... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have to bear with me as I go ahead and give you the forecast and share with you my hiccups. And as you can see, firefighters rescuing a cat stuck on a ledge in Kaimuki. We take you now live to the 19th Kona at Market City. Howard, things are pretty quiet now here at the intersection of King and Kapiolani, but just 20 minutes ago, this Christmas, they've decorated their entire home. It's a tradition the Freeman family has been carrying, <laughs> Diana <laughs> has been carrying. The host is live to explain why. Diana, <clears throat> are you okay? Excuse me. Diana, I know I'm okay. Diane, this couple usually spends Christmas morning opening presents. This is our producer, Brian Sinclair, who also has to work today. Most of the times, you know, it's not something you'd want to do, but with the people that I work with, I mean, you know, how could you go wrong? It's just such a great Christmas, and I'm just so happy to be here in my wonderful Christmas suit. <laughs> Gotta do what I can to keep the holiday cheer around don't, here. Don't breathe too hard, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Yes, Brian, you do look like a big elf. Okay. You guys, we definitely did have a good time here, and this is our last show together. It Giant. breaks my heart, and I have to tell you, Sherry, I have always looked up to you. It's been an honor working with you. Of the 17 or 18 years that you've been yeah. in the business, I'm proud to say that I've been able to work eight of those years with you. Thank you, thank you. It's been a great ride, that's for sure, Steph. We've, we've just been through so much here, and now everyone in the world knows about Cirrus Clouds <laughs> because of me <laughs> and my crazy way of doing weather. But I have to say, our viewers are just fabulous, and we just thank you for sticking with us and watching us and supporting us. And we just can't thank you enough for, for all that you've done throughout the years. And you gotta be proud because you made history as the first, first accredited meteorologist, meteorologist yeah. in the state of Hawaii. Yeah, of course I started when I was five, but you know, <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> and of course, Jason Jay Tang. Tang, you came to us from a new station in Colorado. You took on the big role of yes. sports director and you just did it well, you're a hard worker. If only all those people at home knew your ability <laughs> to make us all smile here yes. in the newsroom. You have a wacky sense of humor. I do. Thanks so much for always lifting up the spirits here in the newsroom. My yeah. pleasure. You know, there's two conceptions I want to, misconception I want to clear up. One, I am older than 18 years old, okay? So, <laughs> and two is, like you said, I'm not a local boy, but and I came to Hawaii with, with just my wife and I didn't think I'd cry, but. Yeah. But I'm, um, <laughs> now that, um, you know, we just came with no family and now we're leaving with the biggest family and. It will always be here, happens. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's well, a beauty here. And, yeah. and I'll truly miss this place and all of you. <laughs> Don't know what to say, I mean. Yeah, and I think that's the beauty really of it, Steph. You know, all of us, you know, we really were a family and I think that's what made it so fun for all of us to work together. And it was so easy every day coming to work. I think we all really enjoyed coming to work because we all look forward to, you know, we made it fun. We yeah. made it fun. Work was fun. Truly miss that. Yeah. Gonna miss you guys. <laughs> 